Hello my children, we will start together lesson G in unit 7. Exercise 1, read the title and answer the questions. Desert animals. So ask yourself, what do I know about the topic? What do you know about this title? Desert animals. What do you know about desert animals? I know that camel is a desert animal. Question number two, what do I want to know about the topic? What do you want to know? I want to know how these animals live in desert. I want to know the weather in desert is like what? Hot or cold? I want to know how animals adapt to this environment. Let's read the passage together. Desert animals. Deserts are very difficult places to live in. It's difficult to live in desert. They are usually very hot in the daytime and very cold at night. So in desert, it's very hot in the daytime and it's very cold at night. There is very little food and water. We don't have there enough food. Or water. Despite these conditions, many kinds of the anim of animals live there. Okay, but we have some animals or different kinds of animals or many kinds of animals live in the desert. There are reptiles. Reptiles like what? Such as geckos, iguanas, lizards. And snakes. Birds such as owls and road runners. Also, we have some birds like what? Owls and road runners. There are even mammals like foxes. We have also mammals there like what? Fox, foxes, bobcats, and cows. Animals that live in the desert have adapted to the environment. How they accept or uh, they can live in this environment. Some animals such as rattlesnakes go out only at night. This kind of snakes just they go out only at night because we said in the day it's very hot, so they go out only at night. Others, like lizards and tortoises, can tolerate, they can bear the high temperature and go out during the day. So they can go out during the day. Some frogs, mice, and the squirrels sleep all summer to avoid the hot weather, so they sleep all summer. So now I want you to read again to be able to answer exercise B. Let's find out the difficult words together first. Here we have some desert animals. Please repeat after me. Bobcat, Bobcat, Turtles, Turtles, Roadrunner, Roadrunner, Lizard, Lizard, Coyote, Coyote, Gecko, Gecko, Iguana, Iguana, Squirrel, Squirrel, Rattlesnake, Rattlesnake, Owl, owl. Now let's read quickly to answer exercise B. Desert animals. Deserts are very difficult places to live in. They are usually very hot in the daytime and very cold at night. There is very little food and water. Despite these conditions, many kinds of animals live there. 
There are reptiles such as geckos, iguanas, lizards, and snakes. There are birds such as owls and roadrunners. There are even mammals like foxes, bobcats, and coyotes. Animals that live in the desert have adapted to the environment. Some animals such as rattlesnakes go out only at, at night. Others like lizards and turtles can tolerate the high temperatures and go out during the day. Some frogs, mice, and squirrels sleep all summer. Precise B. Read the text and complete the outline. What's the title of the text? The title of this text is what? Desert animals. So the whole text is about what? Desert animals. So I'm going to write desert animals. Look at the first paragraph. From desert till water. Here. This is the first paragraph. What's the main idea of paragraph one? Main idea means the topic of this paragraph. So we said that the whole text is about desert animals. But the first paragraph is talking about what? What's the main idea? Yes. Look at the first sentence. Deserts are very difficult places to live in. So this is the main idea that deserts are difficult. Places to live in. This is the main idea. Supporting details means the explanation for this main idea. We see that deserts are very difficult places to live in. Why? Or how they are difficult? Ah, yes. So the first supporting detail that huh, they are very hot in the daytime and very cold at night. This is the first one. Number two, huh, the other supporting detail, that we don't have enough food and water. Yes, there is very little food and water. This is the second supporting detail. Again, another example. Main idea of paragraph two. Look at paragraph two. Despite these conditions, still here. Yes. Coyotes. So this paragraph is talking about what? Yes, about different animals. Yes, that live in desert. Yeah. So this is the main idea that there are many kinds of animals live in deserts. What about the supporting details? Yes, we said that there are many animals like what? Reptiles. Yes, so there are reptiles such as so and so and so. And we have also birds. There are some birds, like owls and roadrunners. And we have some mammals. And a third here, we have the third supporting details. What about paragraph three? From animals till the last, till summer. The main idea of this paragraph is what? Let's read the paragraph. Animals that live in the desert have adapted to the environment. How they adapt? So, the adaptation is the main idea. Yes, so the main idea will be that animals that live in the desert adapt to the environment. How they adapt? For example, huh? rattlesnakes. Go out only at night. What else? Lizards and turtles can tolerate the high temperatures and go out during the day. What else? Some frogs, mice, and squirrels sleep all summer. So some animals like rattlesnakes don't go out uh, in the daytime. They go out only at time. Other animals, like lizards, yes, they can tolerate the temperature. And other animals, like frogs and mice, they sleep all summer. 
So this is the outline to find out the main idea and the supporting details. How we explained the main idea. Writing a report. Can use writing to give information about things. So you have to think about what? What information you want? How to find the information? You will read a book to find the information or you will serve the net or you will ask your parents what the information tells you. What you learn from this information. Choose a topic and complete the first two columns of the chart. Here we, we call it KWL chart. K, what I know. Already you know. W, what I want to know. You want to know what? What I learned for L, what I learned. So it's KWL. What I know, I know, for, for example, I know that there are some animals live in water. What I want to know, you want to know what? I want to know how how they adapt to the, the environment there. What they do in summer and what they do in winter. What they want or what they do if it's very cold or it's freezing. After I search and read or read a book, what I learned. Huh, what I understood about water animals. So again, research your topic and complete the third column. So if I got to know about, huh, you want to know about water animals. After you finish researching, you're going to write a paragraph. Choose three main ideas about your topic to write about as we did in desert animals. Make an outline including supporting details. So the topic will be, for example, water animals. The first paragraph you're going to write about what? The environment, for example. The second paragraph you're going to write about Different kinds of animals live in water. The next, the next paragraph, how they adapt to the environment there. And each topic, you have to support it with what? Or explain it in details. You can do it. Just search well for the information. Then you are going to be able to write the main ideas and the supporting details. Thanks for watching and wait for the next lesson. Bye-bye.